bow. And number nine, look at number nine. Read number nine, Kaylee. Okay, so just before he heard the airplane, Bron was trying to. That is a sequencing question. Great. What do you have to do to find the answer to that question? Huh? Look it up where? Dictionary. I don't know if I'm going to find that in the dictionary, what Ron was trying to do after he heard the airplane. Nine. You're going to have to find the book. Does anyone remember what chapter Brian heard the airplane? 11. Close. 13. 12. Chapter 12. What about um, number one was uh, some issues is where it says got Gary Paulson reveals. Do you know who Gary Paulson is? The author. The author. Okay. And it says reveals most of Brian's conflicts. Um, what do you think about man versus man? What would that be? What What is a man versus man conflict? Brian versus someone else. And in the book, is there anyone else throughout most of the novel? No. Okay. And so that one, most people were choosing that one, and there wasn't anyone else for him to have a conflict with. So just think about that when you're doing that question. Okay. So for word work, you have your plot roller coaster. Okay. The exposition tab, what's introduced in the exposition? Um, whenever you find the turtle egg. <coughs> the exposition? Oh. Come here. What is it? Isn't that the thing with the characters? The well, characters? And what's the other thing that's introduced? Um, problem? Setting. 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 Okay, uh, Cameron Foster. In the rising action, what is always introduced in the rising action? The conflict. Okay, so here's where you're going to put the conflict. Okay, what events, what do the events do or contribute to Carla in the rising action? Think about the roller coaster. When you're on the roller coaster and you're going up the roller coaster, what is that building? Suspense, yes. Okay, so there are certain events that happen after the conflict, the major initial conflict, because he has several, right? but the, the major one, okay? There are several events that happen. Have we reached the climax of this novel yet? Okay. Yes. No. Let's see. What is a climax, the Bryson? Turning. The turning point. The turning point. Have we reached the turning point of this novel? Yes. No. yes. We have? It's changed? No. No, he's still in the woods. He's still in the woods. There's nothing major happened, okay? So we haven't reached the climax. So you're just going to fill in to here. Now, it's not going to take you the whole time period in word work to do that. So after you finish, you're going to study for your vocabulary test tomorrow. Yes, when you finish here. Okay, for reader's response. Do you want to explain this one? Yes. Okay, so on your reader's response, there's a picture of a hatchet. And what are the two words that are beside the hatchet? Useful. Okay, so what useful means is something as basic as fire is what the hatchet can provide. So what or is useful? What does the fire provide in the book? Or to Brian? Heat, warmth, what else? What else can it provide? Takes away the bugs. What about his for his, what? Heating up food, exactly. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to go something as basic as like fire is what the hatchet helps him to get. And what does the fire provide for him? So what could be another basic thing that uh, ha the hatchet does for Brian? Cutting. Cutting. Okay, so what could the cutting provide? What could he cut? Okay, so it could be for anything as providing him food to shelter, and so that's what provide would go under. Understand? Sure. So I okay. get it. Like, would you? So you would put the fire on useful, and you're like the heat, warmth, and all that on the side. Exactly. Yes. Across from it. Yes. Exactly. So.
So it's saying like fire, that is what is useful to him. And then what does the fire provide, Brian? So it would be like another useful would be the hatchet helps him to kill animals. And so what do the animals provide for Brian? So will we put like heat and then on the next on warmth and all that? Or? You can go as yes. You you can skip down. You can put fire and you can put all the things that fire provides him. And then you can skip down. You can put a bow and arrow. And then what did that provide him? Um, but also I want you to think not just what physically he gets from the hatchet, but what about mentally? Okay, so what does this hatchet provide him mentally. Uh, it reminds him of his mom. He realized that. Okay, it serves to remind her of home. What? He, when he like, like when he was at home, he didn't like what he was looking for. And like when he got there, he realized that he had a purpose. Okay, so maybe the hatchet's helping him, you know, seek some fulfillment. Raise your hand. You are at tabletop. Group two. 
Raiders response. Group three. Novel activity. Independent reading. Got it? Where's my paper pot, Ruth? so you wouldn't be in it, okay? Yeah, yeah, carry on. <laughs>
Or where? ever happens to me, I want you to be in the woods with me because you, you, you 